So with the market at new highs, what should you do right now? Joining us to talk about that is Patrick Chavanek. He is the chief strategist at Silvercrest Asset Management. Welcome, Patrick. Nice to see you again. Hello. Is, is it decidedly more difficult to navigate the market at new highs? Well, right now, the, the economy is a lot more wobbly than the market seems to be. You know, that's why the Fed is talking about cutting rates, which is something that the market's excited about. But, but the economy is slowing, and it could slow further. Now, you know, it, it could pull through. Um, so I wouldn't go so far as to say that the market's riding for a fall, but there could be bumpier days ahead. Yeah, I mean, that's the, the big conundrum we're facing right now. Uh, Jerome Powell just told us that the global economy is slowing down, and it's taking our economy with it. Earnings will be coming out starting next week, and certainly uh, expectations are not very high for those. But yet here we sit at all-time highs today. Is this simply a stock market that's on a sugar high because of the lower rates? Yeah, no, because ironically, this is not a market that is gorging on risk. When you look at what's really expensive in the market today, it's actually your safe harbors. Um, treasuries are, tra you know, are, are returning 2% which is barely above inflation. Uh, so the problem is that while, you know, if you look and you don't like the risk that you see out there uh, and you want to take money off the table, where do you put it? Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's actually more expensive to try to hide from risk than it is to actually ride it out right now. So if you're a longer term investor, do you just kind of stay put in this market but expect some volatility? I think that's really the, the best choice that you have. I do think that you need to realistically assess how much risk you can afford. You know, if the market were down 30% uh, in a year because there was a recession, uh, how would you cope? You, you should always be thinking about that. But you should also be thinking about what you're giving up uh, by simply going and hiding under a rock for a year or two. Uh, and I think you're giving up quite a bit, both in terms of short-term and long-term gains if you go and do that. Patrick, thank you so much. Patrick Shabonik with Silvercrest Asset Management.